The Hershey Chase experiment was based on the biology of a virus called bacteriophage T2 that attacks a bacterium. The virus consists of a DNA core packed inside a protein coat. Part, but not all, of the virus enters the bacterial cell. About 20 minutes later, the cell bursts, releasing dozens of particles that are virtually identical to the infecting virus particle. Hershey and Chase deduced that the entry of some viral component affects the genetic program of the host bacterial cell, transforming it into a bacteriophage factory. They set out to determine which part of the virus, DNA or protein, enters the bacterial cell. To trace the two components of the virus over its life cycle, Hershey and Chase labeled each component with a specific radioisotope. They used P32 to label DNA. The two strands of DNA have a sugar phosphate backbone that contains phosphorus atoms. Phosphorus is not present in most proteins. They used S35 to label proteins. Proteins contain some sulfur because sulfur is found in the amino acids cysteine and methionine. Sulfur is not present in DNA. After growing the virus in the presence of either P32 or S35, the two radioactive viral samples were added along with the host bacteria to fresh culture medium. The viruses were given enough time to infect the bacteria, after which the culture medium was agitated in a blender to detach the viruses from the bacterial cells. Samples were then placed in tubes and centrifuged to force the bacterial cells to the bottom of the tube, forming a pellet. The supernatant fluid contains the viruses. In each of these samples, the radioactive component will be in a different fraction, either the pellet or the supernatant. If DNA is in fact the genetic material, predict which of the two tubes, the one with P32 or the one with S35, will have a radioactive pellet. Hershey and Chase found that most of the P32 is in the pellet with the bacteria, while most of the S35 is in the supernatant fluid with the viruses. Because the P32 labeled the DNA, the scientists concluded that DNA, not protein, enters bacterial cells and directs the assembly of new viruses. That is, DNA is the genetic material.